Hello everybody, as the title says, this is how to get Command and Conquer the first decade, specifically Command and Conquer Generals and Command and Conquer Generals Zero Hour to run on Windows uh, 7. Now I've tried all the compatibility modes and everything doesn't seem to work. However, a brilliant guy called, I believe, Phoenix or woman called Phoenix on something I found earlier on suggested this. It's brilliant and uh, I hope other people see it so they don't have to spend the hours I have trying to get the bloody thing to work. So basically what you have to do is you see this information on your side. That is what you're going to put into an INI folder. Okay, don't know what an INI folder is, don't know what the hell I'm talking about, doesn't matter. What you need to do is you need to copy and paste this. This will be in my notes. Okay. Uh, then you go, so you install Command and Conquer um, uh, first decade and you say you put press generals and general zero hour put in your two codes and there we go right you go into your libraries okay so you've got your desktop and everything go into documents that's where mine are I believe that yours might be under your username not sure put some in different places Mine are here, so we'll do command and conquer generals. Okay, so double click on generals. I've already made it, okay, but if you don't know how to make it, you right click, new, text document, okay, open it up, copy and paste everything that I did uh, that I've written in the notes, which is this. Starts with anti-aliasing equals 4 and ends with voice volume equals 78. Okay, so that should be all that. Paste it in, so it looks like this. File, save as. At this point, okay, we want to be naming it options with an S, okay, and a capital O at the start. Full stop. I N I. Okay. Then press save. I've already got one, so it says options I N A I N I already exists. You want to replace it? No, I don't. But that's what will happen. Then it will be put. It will be put there, uh, there, and you'll have a text document that is just there to be deleted. So you can delete this, like this, and then you'll be left with options I N I. Okay. And if you open it, we'll have everything we put in there. Brilliant. You can copy and paste that and do it with your zero hour as well. Exactly the same one. Just copy and paste uh, the actual thing and put it in here. Now what you need to do is you need to go to wherever you installed it. So mine is under Program Files 86. X86. Go down and find EA Games. Command and Conquer the First Decade. Click on whichever one you want to play. So we'll do Generals. Go down to Generals EXE and right click on it. It's the EXE, the application. Then properties, then up here, okay, that is not the right one, I do apologize. Right click on it, properties, then you'll come up here, general compatibility security, details and previous versions. You want compatibility and you want to click this box, tick this box and run it as Windows XP Service Pack 3 and also run this program as an administrator. You click apply and OK. Then you come out of here, go into general zero hour, find exactly the same folder for generals, generals.exe application, click on it, right click on it, properties, compatibility again it'll be like this when you come to it so you want to press this there'll be a drop down menu you want to be picking Windows XP Service Pack 3 and run as administrator at the bottom click apply click OK then what I find is that it's generally better to run the game through this rather than through uh, other means just because it seems to work better so if you want a desktop icon icon right click that generals one send to your desktop there we go generals.exe shortcut double click on that 
it's going to load zero hour for me. Y you you're not going to be able to see it because yes. I'm recording my own video. But uh, as you can hear or not here. It's running and it's working. So, let me just get out of this. So that is General Zero Hour running on the computer and uh, Windows 7. I'm um, just going to wait until it loads up the first page um, so that I can exit. There we go. So back to the window. And that's it. Um, and you can do exactly the same for generals. Right click, send to, create shortcut. And then name them something different so you know which one's which. The, the red one is the original generals, just the blue is um, zero hour. And that's it. And uh, I hope that helps people. I will obviously be putting all this information in here and if it doesn't work for you let me know Um we'll see about what, what can be done but I'm running a 64-bit version of Windows which is fully updated uh, and it is the 29th of the 9th 2013 this particular code here has worked for a number of old games 95, 98 and XP games um, they're in slightly different places that you have to put the INI file in, but it is generally the same. Some of them don't have anti-aliasing, or you can't really put it up to four. Just change that to two, one, or zero. Again, resolution. Change it from 800 to 600 to something else. See if the game will run on that, etc., etc. Um, you can keep on changing these around, just keep the original and most games will read it and that's what the problem you, is you're having is that uh, it, what, it, there's not a file like this to run and Windows 7 is too new for the older games to actually run. So, if there's anything else you'd like me to add, anybody would like to tell me to go away, shut up, whatever, fine write the comments you're going to or oh that's a bit old isn't it I couldn't find it so that's why I made my own video okay anyway have a good one guys I'll see you around 